Two Chicago families say they were swindled out of thousands of dollars when they tried to replace their roof. One of those families called WGN Investigates for help. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has more on her search for the man who made big promises. Well, right now, many small businesses are trying to rebuild from days of looting damage. They may be calling a public adjuster to help with some of those insurance claims. Now, in most cases, they can help serve as a middleman for the paperwork and the calls to the insurance company. In this particular case, though, the public adjuster they hired has left them hanging for two years. Do you think this is going to get fixed at any point? Oh, I hope so. Alma Rodriguez walks us through her southwest side bungalow with quite a story to tell. First came the leaks. The room downstairs, it, it's dripping water every time it rains. Then came the mold. When the winter came, you know, it's when it started to be like this. And you, you notice it getting worse. Yes, yes. It is spread across the ceilings and the walls of their home's top floor. You could smell it the minute you walk in. Look at this room. It was never like that. If they had fixed it two years ago, I don't think this will never happen, you know. To catch you up on what happened, we have to take you back two years and this contract with John Linares, J H O N. As a state licensed public adjuster, he helped the family file a claim with their insurer. Weeks later, they received a $5,560 check to fix that damaged roof. Here's a spot, there's a spot. We're not just talking about small sections, it's yeah. the entire roof. The entire roof. Per the contract, Linares waived his fee, a 30% commission, if the family hired his recommended contractor, a company out of Elgin called Advanced Exteriors Group, which they did, and all seemed good. Until days of waiting for the work turned into weeks and then months. It's been now how long? Almost two years. The work has never happened, though. Not a single piece of it. Alma called and called. Has this person reached out to you at all? No. We found she's not alone. Here's a roof of another house in Little Village. The owners have also been waiting nearly two years for someone to show up. They received approximately $23,000, and that check was signed over to Mr. Linares, and they haven't seen it since. They sued Linares, an advanced exterior group in Cook County Court, for fraud and breach of contract. My clients did not know that uh, Mr. Linares had a relationship with Advanced Exteriors Group. Under the Public Adjusters Act, you're, you're required, if you're going to publicly adjust for someone, you need to disclose any financial relationship you have with these construction companies, just so that everything's out in the open. They want a default judgment back in September, but Linares is now seeking to vacate that decision. While that family waits for a resolution, Alma turned to the Southwest Organizing Project for help. Harry Meyer, a director at the Chicago-based nonprofit, tried but couldn't track down Linares or advanced exteriors either. They got taken advantage of. The situation is worse now. Uh, it's not going to get any better. So Meyer turned to WGN Investigates. We found Linares has worked throughout the U.S. as an adjuster and contractor, including Miami, where he was arrested in 2006 for illegal dumping. When first applying for his public adjuster's license, he told Illinois regulators it wasn't him who did the dumping and that he was sentenced to six months probation. The state gave him the license, then revoked it last year because he let his insurance lapse and is no longer bonded. We found more than a half dozen numbers for Linares. Most were dead ends. It's not available. But then... Hi, is this John Linares? Yes. Hi, John. This is Lourdes over at WGN-TV. How are you? At first, he didn't remember Alma or her southwest side bungalow. What's Alma? Uh, she's a family that you were supposed to help. And actually, I spoke to a contractor at Vance Exterior yesterday. Okay. They told me they talked to her. And they were ready to run to her booth. Linares blames it on Advanced Exterior Group. They blame it on him, saying they needed a release form to do the work. The back and forth leaves Alma with no roof and no check. Oh, the roof. It's in really bad condition. How do you even begin to fix this? I, I have no idea. We'll try. We have to try. This is our house, you know. 
We tried to meet with Linares in person. He gave us the runaround, too. We tried the advanced exterior group office in Elgin, but nothing. Then another possible residence where they knew Linares but said he didn't live there. In the meantime, for Alma, the wait goes on. Day by day, you know, it's getting worse and worse. And after we spoke by phone with Linares and Advanced Exterior, Alma was told that they would return her money. That was about two weeks ago. And guess what? She is still waiting. As for selecting a reputable adjuster, they can add some very good value to getting the most out of your insurance policy. The Better Business Bureau, though, recommends not to provide full payment until the job is done. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.